you're asked to solve this system using substitution. And substitution is a great method to solve systems, especially when you don't want to have to deal with graphing. So if we were given a particular system where we have big numbers or we have fractions or we have decimals and you're asked to solve it, that's going to be a pain to have to graph both those lines. And then if we see the intersection is between two points or it's not right on the corner of a coordinate system there in, in, in a perfect ordered pair, then we're only going to be able to estimate our answer. So graphing isn't the only method we're going to use. Substitution is an alternative that we can use, especially if we want to get an exact answer. So when you're asked to solve this, this system, 2x plus y equal to 12 and y equal to 4x plus 6, what we're going to use in this top example, we see that 2x plus y is equal to 12. That's great. But down below, we have this equation solved for y. y is equal to 4x plus 6. So that tells me anywhere I see a y in this top equation, I can replace it with 4x plus 6 because that's what y is equal to. Just like if you have x plus y equal to 7 and you know y is equal to 5, you can move that y and put 5 in its place. We know what y is equal to. y is equal to 4x plus 6. So I'm going to rewrite this top equation, but anywhere I see a y, I don't need to write y anymore. I can substitute 4x plus 6 in for y. And the reason why is because that's what y is equal to. They're equivalent. I can replace it with 4x plus 6 because they're equal. It does not change my top equation at all. Now instead of y, I have 4x plus 6. Perfectly fine. The good part about that is now I only have a one variable equation that I can solve. I can combine the x's. This is 6x plus 6 equal to 12. I can solve this pretty easy by subtracting a 6, 6x six equal to 6, and dividing by 6, I get x is equal to 1. That's perfect. I got what x has to be when y is equal to 4x plus 6. But remember, a solution to a system is an ordered pair. It's an x and a y. So what I would have to do is to go back and replace in one of these two equations, so I know now know what x is, so I can take one of these equations, doesn't matter which one, I need to substitute one back in and solve for y. I'm going to use the last equation here, this bottom one, y equal to 4x plus 6, because that one is a little easier. We just plug one in and simplify. We already have y equal to. So when I substitute one in for x, I'm going to get y equal to 4 plus 6. y is going to be equal to 10. So the solution to this system is the ordered pair 1, 10. So to summarize once again, instead of graphing and looking to see where they intersect, since our bottom equation here is already solved for y, we can plug that into our first equation for y. So we can take 4x plus 6, substitute that in for y. We're given a, once we do that, we have a one variable equation that we can solve. I do want to quickly mention that we could also substitute something in for x if we wanted to. So if this was x equal to 4y plus 6, we could substitute the x, right? We could substitute that equation in for x if, if we have x solved for in the second equation. So it just it doesn't have to be only y's that we're substituting in for, but we did that in this case because that's what we had solved for in the second equation. Let's go over another example. Here's another example that we can solve using substitution. The problem with the way it's set up right now is that we don't have one of the variables solved for. We're not sure what x is equal to or y is equal to. But that doesn't mean we can't rearrange one of these equations to solve for x or solve for y. And it looks like that this bottom equation, we could solve for x pretty quickly by just moving this minus 2y over to the other side. So I'm going to rewrite my system and my first equation doesn't change. So I still have 3x plus 2y 
equal to 11. But for my second equation, I'm going to add a 2y to both sides. And the reason I want to do that is because then I'll have x equal to 2y plus 1. I can now plug that into my top equation. I have x solved for. I know what x is equal to. x is equal to 2y plus 1. So I'm going to be able to take 2y plus 1 and substitute that in for x because that's what x is equal to. So in my first equation, I'm going to have 3, but instead of x, x is equal to 2y plus 1, and the remaining part of the equation, 2y equal to 11. So I substituted 2y plus 1 in for x, but I couldn't do this unless I solved for x first in that, sec that second equation. So now when I solve this, well, I'm going to distribute this. I'll get 6y plus 3 plus 2y equal to 8, or excuse me, equal to 11. I'm ahead of myself here. I'm going to combine the y's to get 8y plus 3 equal to 11. Subtract a 3, and then I'll divide by 8. So I get, let's see, if I divide by 8, I'm going to get y equal to 1. Good. So I solved my second equation for x, substitute that into the first equation. I get a one variable equation right here with y, and then I can solve it for get 1. Now I need to go back and solve my, I got y, but I need to solve for x. And we know that if I have y equal to 1, I just substitute that into my first or second equation and solve for x. You may be asking yourself, well, do I plug it into this one or this one, or should I plug it into this one or this one? It actually doesn't matter. All four, well, you can see that these two equations, both of these systems contain the exact same equations. Obviously, this first one matches, but this equation down here, the second equation in both of these systems, they're identical. They're just rearranged. This one, we have x and y on the same side. This one, we have x solved for. So I believe it's going to be easier to plug x or solve for x using this bottom equation. x equal to 2y plus 1. When I plug y in or substitute 1 in for y, because that's what I solve for down here, I get x equal to 2 plus 1. x is going to be equal to 3. So my ordered pair is 3, 1. That is the solution to this system. I had... I had to solve the second equation for x. I could have solved it for y if I wanted to, but this was perfectly set up just to move the 2y to the other side. The goal in order to use substitution is we need to have one of the equations solved for one of the variables so we can replace it. We can substitute it into the other equation, solve for that remaining variable, and then go back and solve for the variable that we substituted in for.